We're now joined by sports anchor Joe Sadowski. Our last story was about a psychic convention, and I honestly wish I would have went so they could have told me, go to the Thunder Rolls game. It's going to be a game you're not going to want to miss. I am not even joking. If you remember the 2016 uh, World Cup of Hockey yep. game between uh, Team North America and Team Sweden, that overtime game, same kind of vibes. But the Lakehead Thunderwolves, they've not gotten off to a strong start this season. Only one win through four games so far. And entering Saturday's matchup against Ontario Tech, the Wolves were hungry to get back in the win column on home ice. And ladies and gents, grab your popcorn because this game had a spectacular finish. The 3,300 Thunderwolves faithful at Fort William Gardens were treated to one of the most exciting displays on ice since Blades of Glory. This game had it all, from big saves, bigger goals, and some polite chatting after the whistles. But it was the Ontario Tech Ridgebacks who had the Wolves number in the first, and in the second, James White goes bar south on Christian Chichigoy, giving the Ridgebacks a 2-1 lead. In the third period, Joe Mack is Johnny on the spot. He shovels home his second goal of the season and ties the game halfway through the third period, giving the Thunderwolves some life. But moments later, the Ridgebacks were just inches away from taking the lead. But defenseman Jaden Wojciechowski's first goal in a Lakehead uniform is an Al McInnes-esque slap shot from the point. That gives the Thunderwolves their first lead of the game. But it was short-lived as James White with a one-timer right in Ovi's office. He ties the game just three minutes later and this game would be headed to overtime. And let the chaos begin. A cross-seam pass gives Cullen McLean a glorious chance to win it, but Christian Chichigoy says not today. And back the other way go the Thunderwolves. Spencer Blackwell finds Griffin Fox on a two-on-one and that's denied. And here come the Ridgebacks again. And Chichigoy stands tall making a huge stop on the breakaway. And then Colin Vanderherk off the rush. <laughs> Vandenherk looks skyward as he had the game on his stick but is off by inches. But he'd have another shot with less than a minute to go in overtime. <laughs> what a game. The Thunderwolves, they take it in overtime, 4-3 to three, the final. We just kind of wrote up a play where we were just going to not rush things, but uh, just make sure we get one good shot off. And uh, Ed uh, just dragged it across the top. And uh, I just said, I just got to hit this thing as hard as I can. And uh, yeah, Ed made it a good pass and it went in the net. So he, he, he loves that type of game too. He wants the puck. He, he wants to be a guy that's a threat all the time. It definitely doesn't surprise me. Um, but yeah, he's, he, he's, a, he's a big game player and he, he makes plays that a lot of guys can't so and, and that's for both teams so we're lucky to have them. Next up for the Thunderwolves they head to Toronto to play the Varsity Blues for a weekend series.